What's up, Internet? Reviewing today two cases from Cougar, and Cougar has a special place in my heart. Because when the shop was very new early on, we were selling a Cougar case called the Cougar Conquer. And that was the first case and I said, ko sobrang sira ulo talaga naka design nito. It was very different from the other cases on the market. And as I've said many times before, a lot of enthusiasts get very particular about the specs of the cases, airflow, what kind of components can fit into it. And yes, while all of those are important, ako personally, yung una kong tinitingnan for cases is if they look good. Kasi yung case, yung primary component ng computer mo na nakikita mo every day. That's the one that you really form an emotional attachment to. Nasabi ko nga sa isang video na piliin mo yung case na you'll fall in love with. Because that's the one that you turn on in the morning, turn off at night. Yan yung sinisipa mo kung hindi na gumagana yung GPU mo. The case gets a lot of abuse but it also gets a lot of love. So looking at these two cases today from Cougar, the Duo Face RGB and the MX360. Cougar did send these items for review but they had no say in what we had to say about them. So both of them come with RGB, both of them are full ATX cases. Both of them are not too large. They're taller than they are fatter. So you can fit them into tighter areas than some of the other fatter cases on the market. We've seen ATX cases that really go to town with the size of the case, the space, the volume that it takes up. These guys are a bit taller and a bit slimmer, but still full ATX size. We'll start with the Duo Face RGB. And what makes it special is in the name. It comes with two front panels. If you want full visibility of the included ARGB, then you can choose the glass front panel. But if you're looking for more performance, if you need more airflow, it also comes with a perforated front panel to be able to suck in more air. And it's super easy to remove these panels. Now, does changing the front panel affect temperatures? Yes, it does by an appreciable degree. We did basic thermal tests using a CPU cooler also from Cougar, the Forza 85, with the Ryzen 7 5800X. With the tempered glass front panel on, the max temp reached in Cinebench was 83 degrees. That's not too bad, but the max temperature reached with the mesh front was only 79 degrees, so around a 4 degree difference. We also ran Time Spy. The mesh front panel gave us a max temperature of 66 degrees compared to 71 degrees with the tempered glass panel. So to put this into perspective, the Forza 85 is actually a pretty good cooler. The R7 5800X can get a bit hot. So these temperatures are not bad actually, regardless if you're using the tempered glass panel or the mesh panel. But there is a substantial difference in cooling performance when you have the mesh on. This is not unique to the Duo Face, but it is uncommon. Not a lot of cases let you do this. And it does give you more versatility. If you're just using the computer for simple tasks like surfing, Excel, research, then you can allow yourself the full view of the RGB with the front panel. If you're into gaming, overclocking, and things like that, when you need to bring out the performance, then you can pop on the perforated front panel. Or the personally, even for me, I always like the more cut up look of RGB peeping through the holes rather than seeing it full frontal through the glass. And that's what's great about the Duo Face. You can have your preference. Your preference might even change depending on what you're doing and you can easily toggle between the two. Also uncommon is that this case comes with its own fan hub. Some cases do this as well but not all of them. And that allows you to control the ARGB through a button on the front panel or you can have it controlled via software through your motherboard. Again, giving you options. The case itself is a bit similar to what we've seen on the market. This is not a conquer type bonkers execution of a design. You have your standard PSU shroud, grommets for cable management. The holes for cable management, the ones where you thread your wires through are a bit narrow. And that's the same concern I have with the MX360. You can get a fat bunch of wires through them, but you're going to have to put a little work into it. And I think this probably comes from the type of design where it's, again, taller than it is fatter. So they had to build up. And while there is a lot of vertical room, there's not a lot of width there. 
Other than that, it is quite a roomy case. So you can fit in a CPU cooler with 190 millimeter height, which is quite tall for a CPU cooler. You can have a max of 280mm rad here in the front and a 280mm rad here on top. Not the largest you can have, although quite decent already. Usually the average rad size is 240, so 280 is above the average. And finally for GPUs, you can have a max GPU length of 330mm. Again, this is good, but not the largest that you might need. Some of the larger 40 series cards do go beyond that, but not a lot of them. So basically with the dual phase RGB, you have a case that will fit around 95% of the components out there in a very nice attractive package, which is easily tailored for what you need. Small touches that I do like. It's super easy also to slide out the mesh filter here in front and the side panel is magnetic. And all you need to do is flip it downward. Again, this is something that we've seen in other cases, but always a welcome design choice. So what's nice about the dual face is that basically you're giving yourself a lot of options. Most of the components that you need will fit into this case, whether it's performance or more for a look at me kind of build, it has you covered. So if you're not quite sure what you need, what turns you on in a case, what aesthetic you're looking for, or you're looking for a gift, let's say for your child, and you're not quite sure again what aesthetic they prefer, the dual face is a safe choice since it is so versatile. So the rough price of the Duo Face is less than $100. I would like it a little bit cheaper for what you get. But if you do like what you see, plus you need the flexibility of what the Duo Face allows, then I think that's money well worth it. Although to be honest, between these two cases, I prefer the look of the MX360 more. So you have a more subtle approach to RGB with the two slashes, front and bottom, with the kind of gunmetal center to it. I have just enough light to create interest. Hindi siya yung tingnan mo ako, tingnan mo ako. It's more confident in its approach to case design. That being said, it is a slightly more compact frame to the dual face, just slightly smaller. But again, still the same kind of design choice where they chose to build up rather than fatter. The concern I had regarding the cable management, like the tools are tall, but they're not necessarily fat. So it takes a bit of work to get thick cables through it. That's also the same in the MX360. And while it looks more advanced, it's not actually as advanced. Kumbaga yung tech dito is behind the dual face because it doesn't include a fan hub. You can't cycle the RGB through a button on the front panel. Since we're talking about the MX360 side by side with a dual face, we also ran the same temperature tests. So using the Forza 85 as a CPU cooler, trying to cool a Ryzen 7 5800X, the temps of the MX360 are higher than what we got with either front of the dual face. With Cinebench, the highest temperature we recorded was 86 degrees, and with times by 70.6 degrees. So actually even a bit higher than the dual face using the tempered glass panel. For perspective, these temperatures are a little high, especially for Cinebench, but nothing to get alarmed about. Ryzen 5000 CPUs notoriously run hot, and 86 degrees is not bad in that context. But if you're looking for cooling performance, the MX360 runs noticeably hotter than the dual face, even when the dual face is using its tempered glass front panel. It is a bit smaller, so the max CPU cooler height it can accommodate is 170 mm. That is still quite tall. Even the big boy coolers are usually around 163 millimeters. So we're talking about the Dark Rock Pro 4, the NHD 15, 165, 163 mm. 170 mm, still quite tall, even though it's not as tall as the clearance of the dual face. The GPU length is also slightly shorter at 315mm. That does cut a little bit into the possibilities of the larger cards that you can stick in here. 315 is a little short if you're angling for one of those really high-end cards. So do plan accordingly. But in terms of cooling, you can actually fit a 360mm rad AIO here in front. So that is a step slightly higher than what you can fit into the dual face. So that is a nice option if you're going to be putting a high heat CPU into the MX360. 
it does retail for slightly lower than the Duo Face. Again, because there aren't a lot of bells and whistles to the MX360. It gets you more in the exterior. What the differences in the design aesthetic compared to the more look at me RGB of the Duo Face. But again, between the two, I prefer the design aesthetic of the MX360. But again, it's up to you guys. That's the beauty of case design. There are so many out there. There are so many variations. And you should really spend your time thinking about what grabs you. What makes you interested at the end of the day that, yes, that's my computer. Pinili ko yan. And the casing reflects what you want from the computer and what you think your computer should be. Should it look fast? Should it look, should it look super small? Should it be very compact? Should it be very ostentatious? The computer case yun nga, is the first step towards customization, reflecting your own personality onto your computer. Neither of these cases are really groundbreaking, but they do what they do well. They can fit most parts. They're reasonably priced large enough to store most components with a little pretty RGB, some more than others. Emphasis on cleanable mesh, which both of them have, top, front, bottom. So they're good examples of what you can expect from a modern case, decent to build in, pretty to look at. So it's not up to me to make a suggestion for you, this case, that case, whichever case, either way, because it really has to be you your personal preference on what case you want. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.